Peter Noriki and welcome to Untitled 3, Anywhere But Amazon. To explain the title, Untitled 3 is our third poetry anthology that we brought out in the last 10 years, collecting all the poetry that we've performed at our events. And the second part, Anywhere But Amazon, is a reference to the fact that we would like to take this opportunity to implore you, beseech you, not to buy this book from Amazon under any circumstances whatsoever. We'd rather you didn't buy it rather than go to Amazon because Amazon has been a digital toxic snowplow that's gone right through literature, poetry, everything. It's just been a trail of destruction. But now, in the last few years, indie bookshops are making a comeback because people find it a much more pleasurable experience, much more helpful experience from the staff to buy their books. So, anywhere but Amazon. And for the duration of this film, we're going to show you some absolutely fantastic indie bookshops in Edinburgh that we hope you'll buy this book from and explore them, have a look around, get our book if you want it, other people's books if you don't, and chat to the staff, they're so helpful. So there's going to be five indie bookshops in this tour, all sorts of things will be happening, different people you'll see. So that's the remit of the film, Untitled 3, Anywhere But Amazon. Kicking off our bookshop crawl is Portobello Bookshop, undoubtedly one of the best looking bookshops in the world. And being just a stone's throw for the beach, you can take your new book friends for a romantic picnic by the seaside as soon as you leave the shop. Somewhere today, I scroll Facebook first, then Twitter. Refresh Instagram until there's nothing new for me to see. I'm all caught up. So I return to my newsfeed, consider getting out of bed, reflect that even my rhymes are turning lazy as my body sinks low like a metal I refuse to name and my life hovers in the haze. Somewhere in this world, a woman is falling in love for the very first time. She is wondering how she got to be so lucky and her heart is so full in that moment that it forgets the weight of being lonely and rises straight out of her chest. Somewhere, a group of friends are having the very best night of their lives, are screaming it from the top of their invincible, inexhaustible lungs, are holding on to each other as if it will always be this way, their smiles joined from cheek to cheek to cheek, like a concertina ribbon, like a celebration parade. Somewhere there is an adventurer paused at the top of their climb, taking in the view and the road behind and saying to themselves, even if this is my very last day, I could go and it would be okay. I did what I came here to do. My life, my life. And I have been all of these people once. My heart has been high, my smile has lived in faces other than mine. I have known the fulfillment which brings peace enough to accept all further rest. But today, I am only these heavy hands, unmoving in a room which feels half immune to time. Me, be the clock on the wall which presumes its own pace. Looking for something, I pick up my phone again. In its dark reflection, I meet my own fading face. Me and you on trains. Me and you were always on that Glasgow to Edinburgh commute. Ranked each locomotive into sitting spots, bore mark to arse, totem talk to match. We chatted heaps, all boisterous plumes, busy as the chimney pots. Take that day. Near Christmas time, us inside, us dripping, dipping into each other's eyes, our tongues smoking like cigs and cheap shots, like fireworks for cake candles, hot water over frost. So how is it no easier for you to say to me, I'm sinking, 
I heard your woes, heard clang inside a cog, heard rumble, heard arc, but not bold enough to tear the whole thing down. Only it did. So maybe I just missed it churning underneath, bone on bone. Morning har finds it easy to banish blue for sky outside and breezy ghost startle geese out their earthy camouflage. You've left it all behind. Astral specks on pit bings, the dugs campestral run. Ma, crashing out the journey's foggy shell. Seven months gone, missing cat, not coming back. I'm trying to remember. No loss, please call poster. No pet sounds, no cash reward will bring you safely home. I finish gabbing to a passenger. Show him where kettle steam for your mouth. Puffed gummy on the carriage window. That was life, I says. Now, just stories, but stories I'm always, only, too happy to share. Here we are, Elvis Shakespeare, Central Leaf Walk. An emporium of books, music, comics, good vibes, live events, CDs, DVDs, you name it. Poetry, fiction as you'd expect. There's not just books here, there's vinyl. Check this. There's just vinyl, so much vinyl and CDs. And all at reasonable prices. People get lost in here, spend your hours. LPs, random LP. Pam Ayers, the poet, the people's poet. Picked at random. Let's not forget Batman and Robin, annual number one. Probably, I wonder how much they're charging for that. Five quid, no bad. Anything you want help with, Michael and Dave who work here, they've been here since 2005, 15 years, the centre of elite culturally, loads of live events here. To the back. Let's not forget, my wiki untitled three. Philosophy, alternative, more music, more music. Another random record just to show you. Hey, never heard of them. So there you go. Comics. Kids love this too. Forbidden Planet style. One pound comic. All your quality stuff. So that's it. Elvis Shakespeare. Elite institution. This is called The Good Stuff. The smell of garlic, grass, petrol, pals, poems that make you weep. Tits, you filling your arms with me. The way town looks at Christmas, the moon and how it always comes back. Expensive pens and red swimsuits. Diving in, hair finally long enough to tie in a pony. Plaits, armpits, elbows, collarbones, pubic hair and belly buttons. All in and all out, all bodies of water, all bodies of sky. The sound of cereal hitting the bowl. Freckles, constellations, scalding hot, hot water bottle. The smell of the rubber reminds me of my mother. Someone to take your temperature, sweat and summer snow. Dew, fruit pastel, ice lollies, things that fizz, child's pose, happy baby, learning how to say no, finding your keys, your phone, your glasses, your vibrator, pictures of you when you were a child, the mosh pit, the war ending, people saying sorry and meaning it, how easily forgiveness comes, patterned wallpaper, flamingos, penguins, Whales, kissing strangers on dance floors, the cha-cha slide, your friend's bed, laughing with their loves, bookshops, libraries, printers that are working, postcards, handwritten letters, hotel rooms and the orgasm on the freshly made bed, blackheads, the edge, the chain, Fleetwood Mac, islands, horizons, eating fish and chips, skin, your period finally coming, waking up from deep long sleeps, blood coming out of the sheets, satisfying sentences, the tongue of your hometown windows, 
I am so grateful for windows and grandmothers and family and finishing books, a film that sticks on you like a stamp, finding a painting that is more like a mirror, backpacks, bikes, circles, wheels, bats, birds, weddings, stretching, reality TV, the tops of mountains, contact lenses, the right shoes, all dogs and their ears, easy peel oranges and easy bowel movements and drivers waiting for passengers running for the bus. Hello, my name is Joseph Malik. This is Mr. Chris Greve, and this song we'd like to dedicate to Deborah Kayambi. <laughs> Looking right back at you I'm looking Oh looking I'm looking Talk about change to me I'm still waiting to breathe Talk about change to me Talk about change to me Cause I'm looking Looking right back at you. I'm looking. Talk about change to me. I'm still waiting to breathe. Hey, to see a black man die. Hey, to see a young girl cry. But I'm looking, oh looking, I'm looking, oh looking right back at you. Talk about change to me. I'm still waiting to breathe. Talk about change to me. I'm looking. Oh, looking, I'm looking, oh, looking, cause I'm looking right back at you, mm -hmm. looking right back at you. Right, this is us, Golden Hair Bookshop in St. Stephen Street. Come on in. Jonathan, assistant manager. Hello. Happy to help you with everything. Of course. And here we are in the books, art books. Some, some of the Peter Ross, a tomb with a view. Takes a tour of all the graveyards of Scotland. That'll be a nice read, just out. This one here, David Eagleman, live wired. Excellent science communicator. He was at Edinburgh International Book Festival in August. Uh, really good piece he did with Jenny Nevin. Some of the magazines with excellent extra teeth. Issue 2 just out. Good place with Miss Alexia, Tenderpoint. Then we went to the fiction. So one of the, one of the contributors to Untitled 3 is Claire Skew, who has a very close relationship with this bookshop. She's been a writer in resident. She's also a crime writer, a very good acclaimed crime writer. Uh, over here, just the usual selection of fiction. Hey, Stone Junction, Jim Dodge. That was a book that I discovered many, many years ago and took it up to Canongate kind of Books. Um, Scabby Queen, everyone's been talking about this book by Kirsten Innes. Jackie Cage just brought out the lamp lighter. Some excellent boots here. You can take a chance too, over here. You can take a chance on the boots. You don't know what it's got. You pay your money. If it works, it comes off. And lastly, I want to show you this little bit. A beautiful little den at the back.
This is for the kids. Look at these amazing, oh, great little kids section for kids of all ages. Everything from Mog, Space Explorers. What? Oh, look at this. David Bowie for children. Maya Angelou for children. Bruce Lee for children. Good stuff. Golden Hair Books, it's been open since 2014. Uh, it's established here at Stockbridge. Brilliant independent bookshop. Support your local independent bookshops. Fabulous. Zombie fires say, I love the poetry of the apocalypse. I love the love poetry of the apocalypse. Heavy pharmaceutical plant plantation, fat mafia. The obliterations, the occupations, the sunspots, the dust darts, the contrails and inoculations. I love rocking goose. I love Johnny and the Hurricanes. I love army disposal. Naval gazing intelligence, volume one. The ink spots from the sun. 
And when the night bows to small evil eyes, Curtsy, sir, to the occupied soul. All your enemies are dead, Hanging from the trees they said you said. I'm a soldier of love. I'm a soldier of love. I'm a soldier of love. Yeah, all my enemies are dead, hanging from the trees they said you said. I'm a soldier of love. And that's how to stand on street corner beans, selling a guy from the scheme. I love Robert Ryman, Sloppy Joes, and the dark, dark, heavy, funky groove of revolution. I love total destruction. Here we are in Lighthouse Books, just opposite the pear tree. Been here for three years. Come in. This is Andrew, and dog Artemis. We look after you, both of them will look after you here. <laughs> My Ricky's Untitled 3 just arrived hot off the press. Here we are, Lighthouse Books, specialist bookshop, a radical bookshop. Takes writing serious from writers of colour, working class writers, women writers, LGBTQ. It's a real centre for LGBTQ writing here. We've got one of the best selections over here you're going to find in any bookshop in Scotland. History, politics, so much you can get lost in here and you'll probably come out spin. And as far as poetry goes, over here, One of the best poetry sections you're going to get in any bookshop, in any bookshop, always by Andy. Books. There you go. Just picking two at random because I've got these on my own bookshelf. Elia Kaminsky, J. Bernard. Absolutely fantastic poetry collections. It should be at everybody's bookshelves. And through in the last room, we, there's another big room here. Be kind, read, think, resist. Good thinking. This is where so many events have happened. Scottish writers, they've all been here. A centre of thinking, discussion, radical politics, organising. Really important bookshop, this. And of course, always the kids' stuff. Young adults, weir kids, and even weir kids. Wonder Woman. Because this book is the bookshop for the undefeated. White House Books. Open seven days a week. We spoke, you and I, in between pints and over cigarettes. Your pints, your cigarettes, until my payday. We would sit in our bleary-eyed midweek sadness, convinced the weekend would come faster or things would just get better, with no care which happened first. Together we lamented the loss of a friend's leg, a cancer diagnosis, a prison sentence, the ever-increasing price of a short and slow horses. Still we joked and celebrated these misfortunes, as if the lame, the sick, the incarcerated, the capitalist and the hampered were all essential ingredients for life's great comedy. On a Thursday we shared free credits from the jukebox and sang at each other, pointing and laughing through the romantic choruses. But there were times when you would sit alone, just for a couple, until your own private hell had been doused. I knew to leave you, 
and hand deliver the round. My tip, a thumbs up. I only saw you cry once, a couple of nights before I left to go to Berlin. I said I'll see you for your birthday. I never saw or spoke to you again. We spoke for our forever, and yet I don't remember one whole conversation. Instead, all that lies now is dumb, angry silence. This poem's in Shetland dialect, so a few words. Lunder to calf grund are the beating hooves on their way to the birthplace. And luckin is to entice, and a dratsy is an otter. Pilgrimage. Pood be earth's needle, birds vage, to north and south, mariners o' the luft. Does leicht and poor their trackers? And reindeer herds, summoned be sinew, in countless hunders, lunder the calf grind, sweet tundra, luckin a thousand mile. While we confund with pipelines, big on haunts, ald gates o' dratsy, hair. Even the Nyuflik cat is a map reader, mines on borders, tuppers between mats up the floor. Yet their unbitten tracks will lang the climb, grins to open will out by the moon, a pilgrimage into our cells, the bliss of travelling onward, unwunged, yet fearless of unken boundaries, unmapped endings, singing like lunties, set in the plits of heaven spinning. Topping in Company's Edinburgh store is so big you can lose people in it, and its shelves are packed to the rafters with brilliance. Plus, this used to be a bank. More banks becoming bookshops, please, Edinburgh. One point to you. Post-truth. I want to lie and wait for you. Kick you in the shins. Trap you in your basement. Feed you your eyeballs through the gap in the door. I want you to howl until you're hoarse. Resurrect your demons, kill your angels, hack your Tinder profile. I want to drink cheap Prosecco from the skulls of your children. Piss on your perspective, let it mix. Brew a craft beer, distill a boutique gin. I want to laugh at you in your underwear. Lose you in a maze, chase you with a shotgun, bring on the zombie apocalypse. Ride the four horsemen through your living room, feed them your pets. I want to bring you cups of tar with seagull wings, tell you it's your morning coffee, feed you your neighbour's food waste, take you out and shoot you, burn your libraries, shred your history, pull you from your grave, make you dance for me. Roddy Lumsden is somewhere. And here we are, reading his thoughts, arranged like purple orchids in a vase on a boutique wooden crate coffee table, leaves reaching out, petals unfurled. He was a crossword with missing clues. Sonic the Hedgehog eyebrows, disdain. My favourite stanza was the oyster bar, where we entered a midweek pub quiz. There is no collective noun for a Lumsden, a Ricky and a me. He winced when Paul or myself chipped in with a plausible guesstimate which inevitably proved wrong. He wasn't always patient with other men. We came third, won a bottle of citric wine whose origin and age he surely despised. But fair play to him. We prized it open on the spot and clinked two glasses per poet. I raised mine high to an omnium gatherum, an ola podrida, a gallimaufry of good old bars that never change to poets who wear button-down shirts of khaki. Prost. So that concludes our literary scavenge of some of Edinburgh's premier independent bookshops. 34 writers, 18 musical acts. You've heard some of them on your screen today. The rest of them are in the belly of this book. We couldn't get all the bookshops, but we got some of the best. Remember, if you're going to get it, keep it indie. 
anywhere but Amazon and join us next time for Noiriki scavenge of who knows, our favourite independent bakers and macaroni pies in Edinburgh. That one's out for decision for now. Get a copy of it.